Hey, everybody, this is Marcellus Troy Alexander Inspiration. We're Troy Alexander. We are excited tonight to be back one more time to encourage you to hold on to your dream. My motto is dream, take that step, and walk with purpose into your destiny. Tonight, we have a phenomenal guest, but listen, stay connected with us. We're on Facebook, Troy Alexander. We're on YouTube, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. Listen, we're on Instagram at Pick by Design. I'm excited. I love taking photos, y'all. And guess what? We have our nonprofit. Call to inspire.org. Call to inspire.org. Listen, we have a book of poetry that we've written to encourage you called Poems Inspiring Dreams, Purpose, and Destiny on Amazon. You can get it right now, Marcellus Troy Alexander, to uplift you and to encourage you. And I tell you right now, don't give up on your dream. You are worth every dream. And so tonight, we have a phenomenal young lady. I am honored tonight to have her on our broadcast. Listen, everybody. She is age 14, singer, model, actress. Listen, she's the reigning ultimate international Miss Marilyn Jr. Team 2022 platform called Tati's Totes. Listen, designed to help families, including those with the Ronald McDonald House. I'm not finished, everybody. Listen, she currently has three singles. My goodness, at the age of 14, out on all major listening platforms with Spirit to Win earning continuous airplay on 90.3 FM, Heaven's Joy, hosted by Dalton Anderson. Tatiana's motto is, you are never too young to impact your community and wants to show the youth they too can make a positive impact in their community. Let's welcome Tatiana Gross. How are you, Tatiana? Hi, everyone. I'm good. How are you? I am so honored tonight to have you as a guest. You are so amazing, phenomenal, astronomical, outstanding, all of that and more. Listen, it's an honor to have you on our show. And listen, I, I got to ask you this because I saw on your Instagram post um, or page rather in your bio, you, you have singer, actress, model, songwriter, and in all caps, queen. I love that. If someone asks who is Tatiana Gross? Right, those are all of your titles. But if somebody asks, who are you? How would you describe who you are? I'm just a 14 year old girl with a passion. That's how I would describe myself. Just a wow. 14 year old. I, I love it. I love that Tatiana. And, and listen, I, I wanna know where, where did this passion come from? This, this passion to, to just seek to just be amazing at all that, where do you think that came from? Well, wow. this is a story that I do, my parents tell it all the time. I walked into the kitchen when I was about like four or five and I told my dad and my mom, you're gonna get me to Hollywood, period. And I snapped my fingers, right? So ever since then, it's always something I've loved to do. I've even loved to do it before that time. We would be in the backyard with three, four, five, screaming and belting notes that we didn't even know. And it's just, it's always been a passion of mine, and I'm so glad I like I get to share it with everyone. Wow. Now, wait a minute, Tatiana. You're telling me at age four, you walked into the, the president. It was like, I'm going to Hollywood. Are y'all going to take me to Hollywood? Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that. I, what, what, do you remember what, what even said to you that that was even possible? I don't know. It's just when I was younger, I had a mind of my own. It's just like, if this is something that I really wanted to do, I would express myself and be able to tell my parents that. And for some reason that day, I was like, you know what? I want to go to Hollywood and y'all are going to take me. I love that. And what was their reaction? They're, they just looked at me like, <laughs> where did that come from? Wow. I love that at the age of four, that, that like somehow you knew, right? There was something greater, right? Something more. Yeah destined for you and I love that about you and 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 even to this day I know there's even more greater for you that you haven't even seen yet Tatiana I'm telling you there is so much more destined for your life it's amazing I'm so excited I haven't even seen it yet but I know it's coming oh my goodness I'm so excited for you listen Thanks. I got absolutely I want to talk about a little bit about your music tell me about your writing style like how that evolved because I'm telling you to have three singles now playing you can listen and, and your songs are so beautiful and your voice. So I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but but how do you get to the point of your song evolving? Is it the words first? Is it the sound that you listen for, the beat? 
how does your music evolve? I just listen to the beat and let God do the rest. I can't do it without him. So whatever speaks to me, I know it's coming from him and him telling me. So whatever God wants it to be, it'll be. Wow, amazing. That's phenomenal. And and so and so I want to ask you because for me, right, people that sing, like they have to be very transparent, right? Real about their emotions and, and things that they're thinking about. Um, how did you get comfortable like singing songs or, or words with knowing that basically you're singing the diary of your soul? I feel like I've always been an open book. I've always been an open person. Of course, there are some things that I do keep to myself. But when it comes to music, <laughs> I just put all my emotions or all my feelings into it. And that's what makes my music so relatable for other people is that I know that if I can open up about my feelings, they should be able to feel exactly how I feel and know that they're not alone. Oh, have you always been like that? It's always something that I've done. I'm a super honest person. <laughs> wow, wow. Listen, I, I'm just so um, in, in awe of you and your strength and your courage and, and, and just your perseverance and you're 14. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, what is that moment like to hear your song? being played on this platform or that point. What was that first moment, if you can remember, what was that moment like? I was in class and this was my first time where my first song, Teenage Romance came out. I was in class and my mom texted me, she's like, your song's on Apple Music and all this other stuff. And of course I gotta keep calm because I'm in class, but at the same time I'm like, oh my God, it's out. So I feel like that moment for me, I just, was so proud of myself. I was like, wow, you really did it. You really overcame what you thought that you couldn't do. Wow, that's amazing. That is so wonderful. And so listen, I'm on the teenage romance. <laughs> you wrote a song about it. <laughs> so 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 was this a real like a, a real teenage romance? <laughs> From my parents' <laughs> knowledge, it was not. <laughs> well, okay. So not to go too far into it, because the reason why I asked that was because was because I, I'm, I'm always interested in singers who have to sing songs that other people write and, yeah. and, and, and they haven't really lived it, right? So have all of your songs been personal experiences of yours? So my song Teenage Romance was a personal experience of mine. You know, I'm a teenage girl. <laughs> it just happens, you know? But remember... <laughs> River, I wanted it to be relatable for everyone because I know sometimes people feel alone. They feel like they're drowning in their own situations. And that's for anyone. It's for me, too. And I wanted them to know that I understand them and I hear what they're going through and that I'm here for them and I can relate to them. Spirits One is just an uplifting song because my grandma, actually the backstory behind it, my grandmother, she told me, Tati, come here. And she's like, the Lord gave me these three words. And she said, Spirits Win. She's like, I want you to make a song of it, out of it. I know you can do it. And I did it. And it's one of, the, one of my favorite songs because it lets you know that no matter what you're going through, you always have the spirit to win. No matter how, whatever situation you're throwing at you, you have the spirit to win. You need to understand that you have the spirit to win. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Well, shout out to your grandmother because that is phenomenal. <laughs> and, and just just your willingness, right, to hear her words and to, 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 to want to have that experience for yourself. It's amazing. So thank you so much for sharing you and your realness and your rawness and everything about you. Because, and I love what you said though, right? Because sometimes people don't think about, you know, even with the teenage romance, right? They don't think that teens go through certain things, but they do, right? And, and they have that. And, and so thank you for being real and being honest, right? To share your journey with someone else. Say, listen, you're not alone, right? You still feel different emotions, right? You're going through this. So thank you so much for being so honest and transparent about who you are. Um, so listen, I gotta ask you because sometimes, with, listen, you are just on top of the world, right? You're the reigning queen, you have three singles out. I mean, you're a model, you're an actress, right? So sometimes what happens is with, with, with more attention, what they say like fame, not everybody can handle that. So tell me about your experience and your journey being able to handle more attention to you because not everybody can yeah 
Um, with the attention being on me, I'm on, I mainly think it, the focus on the positive energy because, of course, there are some negative people that spread negative things about you, but at the same time, you have to focus on the things that has been presented in front of you that are positive. And some moments, I'm like, oh, well, this person is saying this about me or this person thinks this about me and it's going around and I'm like, maybe I should just give up. Maybe I should just throw, every, throw the towel and like not do it anymore because, of course, everyone goes through those days where they're just like drained. But I remember my parents, they were like, Tati, is this something that you really want to do? And at that time I had a whole bunch of just a whole bunch of stuff just weighing me down. And I was like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. And I thank God for my parents because my parents have said, you're going to keep doing this. This is something you said you wanted to do. This is something that has been a passion of yours for a long time. And you can't just let negative people destroy what you have done and the things that you're grateful that you have done and from then I was like I really need to focus on the good things that are happening in my life because there are a lot of good things that have happened in my life such as my three singles being out being able to model being able to inspire little girls not even little girls but little boys and just being able to inspire everyone is something that I'm very grateful that I've done and I don't know where I would be if I would have given up um, well, thank you for not giving up Tatiana thank you for not giving up and persevering and pushing through and having a support system around you that, that helped you to continue to stay. So again, you're 14, right? And we live in a world of social media, right? And comments and so forth. Like, has it been difficult at all in terms of, have you received like a lot of negative? And if so, how did you deal with that? So on social media, I don't really get a lot of negative comments, but in the real world I have, there are a lot of people that are like, oh, she's conceited. Oh, she only thinks about herself. Oh, she's this person or she's that person without even really actually getting to know me. And like I said, sometimes that just weighs me down because I'm like, is that what people really think about me? Like there's certain people that don't even know me and they think that about me. And so with that, I just block it out. I'm like, you know, that's not the type of person that you are. And the people that really know you know that that's not the type of person that you are. And if they want to think that because people have obviously a right to their own opinions if they want to think that and let let them think that and just move on because you know that's not the type of person that you are so how I deal with it is I hear something like that and my friends go oh my gosh you're so pretty you said this I like I love your music and I focus on that because you can't constantly stay in the negative you have to find a way to get out and find the positive um I love that Tati. listen find a way to get out and focus on the positive I love that about you and I love that inspiration because somebody needs to hear right listen you're going to always have people that's going to be be critics right and not like you or or what you do but honestly that's that's more a testament on them as opposed yeah. to really you right yeah. and and so we hope that they find their purpose in life yeah. and 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 find out their destiny so amazing amazing so i gotta ask you first of all you're four years old talking about i'm going to hollywood right <laughs> so when when did you know that you could sing Listen, all of us at some point, right, that we can sing, right, around the house, we sing, right, but when did you know or feel that you had a voice that was worthy enough to, like, you know what, be on the radio? When I was four and five and younger, <laughs> I was just screaming, so I didn't, I didn't know I had that voice, but when I turned wow. six and eight, I would just be singing and I would be in my church choir and everyone would just tell me, wow, you have such an amazing voice for how young you are. And from then on, I started to think it. I was like, wow, people really think I have an amazing voice. And from then on, I just took my journey as a singer and I am still taking my journey as a singer and it's not done yet, so. Wow, wow. Listen, when, when did you decide to take it to another level? Like, like, like what age were you? Because listen, it's one thing that I say I want to sing. But another level to say, I want to write my own music, my own lyrics, and then to actually go into a studio or go wherever you go to record and to invest, right? The finances and the time. When did that happen? Was it like age eight, nine, 10? Was it, <laughs> when did it happen? Well, I was writing since the age that I was nine. But when it really kicked off was when I was 12 to 13. So it was, the beginning of quarantine, we were all stuck inside. We had nothing else to do. And I was like, well, let's just make a song. Let's find out what we can do and make a song. And that's when Teenage Romance came along. And after Teenage Romance came 
River and then after River came Spirit to Win and there's still more songs that I am working on and I'm not finished with my journey as a singer and I'm so grateful that that day came and it was like wow let's write this song although I'm not grateful that I had to stay inside for a very long time because you know I had a lot of energy and I wanted to be outside with my friends I'm very grateful that I was able to find out my real calling wow and and that happened during the pandemic yes sir wow wow Tatiana listen and and that's powerful right because so many saw the negativity right where, where what we couldn't do but you realize what you could do right it it that 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 inability to go out and the energy you turned it you shifted the energy to something so you know what i'm not going to focus on the negative but I, i'm going to turn it into something positive and look where it has brought you yeah. I'm, I'm like wow i'm seeing you on lives on different platforms and again a beautiful beautiful amazing voice Keep, listen have you just have you taken voice lessons or is it just a natural gift i have not taken voice lessons so wow. i guess really good Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, you have to take, and listen, I, I can't wait to see what's next for you because I just know that, that it's um, something amazing beyond what you can even compare at this point because, oh my goodness. So listen, I got to ask you, um, how, how, tell me about the process, how much time, because people say, oh, you're singing, you got a single, but is it, how much time do you put in a day or a week? How much commitment do you have to make to be who you are and reach the place where you have? Writing wise, it takes like 30 to 45 minutes. Finding wow. it is pretty hard, but like I said, it comes from God. So when I find the right one, I do, which takes like an hour. <laughs> and then studio time. I remember one time I was in there from like nine o'clock to one o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. So it takes a while, but when it's something that you really love, it's like time flies by so fast you don't even realize how long it took. <laughs> like wow. I didn't, even, I didn't even know that it took me like five hours. But I was like, you were in there for five hours. I was like, huh? <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! And 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 that's like I wanted the audience to hear that, right? How how much time? Like they see the 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 glam, right? They see the glitter. They see the star, right? The, the name on the marquee, but don't realize how much time and commitment is involved. And it sounds like, what, what do you love about singing so much? It's always something that I've loved to do. It's like, I don't know what, what is about it that I love so much, but I really love being able to express my emotions. And it, like, when it comes to singing, you can just sing whatever you want or do whatever you want and let your emotions take place which is not something that everyone can do when they're not singing or when they're not dancing or when they're not doing what they love so I feel like when I'm doing with my what I love it's just something that I constantly want to do all the time wow listen I I think having passion right that's that's what it's about it's about seeking it like all the time like like just wanting to do it and to so I, I I'm just honored to to have you and to to see your growth even at the age of 14, it's amazing. So listen, I gotta ask you, um, was was what would you say has been the most challenging part of your journey? Because again, and we're gonna talk about your pageantry journey and so much more, but what would you say has been the most challenging part of your journey thus far? So far, been the thoughts of me thinking that I can't do something. Like I used to put myself in a box. I used to be like, oh yeah, this is the only type of genre I can sing. I can't sing anything else. And my parents were like, wow. you have an like open box. Like you can't just put yourself in one box and say that you can't do it because if you keep saying that you can't do it, you're not going to be able to do it. So that's something that I'm continuing to work on because it's not something that I'm done with working on yet because there are of course some times where I'm like, oh yeah, I can't do this. Like we just need to call it off. I can't do it. But I always have my support group telling me that you can do it. You just need to have a mindset that you can do it. And so it's something, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge that I'm willing to work through. Wow. I love that. Yes, Tatiana. I love that. It's because, you know, um, and, and it's even amazing how you said really the biggest challenge is what you tell yourself, right? Yeah. Right. Those words that you hear, right. And, and it's us, 
right? If we can just learn to overcome those things that that we say to ourselves, man, it's it's like every door would just be like, yeah, I know it's gonna open. Yeah, I know it's blocked now, but it's just a detour to another place greater than what I'm destined for, right? So all of that plays into it. And I love that about you. Oh my goodness. Listen, what what what's your vision? What's on your vision board for your your singing? Like, are you getting like do, do you envision getting a Grammy? Like, is that something that you want or, or, or not really like on your board, but like if it happens, it happens. But do you want to be on tour around the country singing? Like, is that something that you want to do? Yes, it's all, I always tell my mom, I'm like, mom, I can't wait for the day that I'm on tour and I get to meet all of these amazing fans and all of these amazing support groups, no matter what age it is. I'm just like so excited. And I, the adrenaline rush when you, like fast changes and everything the adrenaline rush when you're doing what you love is is bigger than anything and it's something that I constantly look forward to like when I'm doing pageants it's like oh my god like my me and my mom be in the dressing room I'm like go 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 we gotta go because it's, <laughs> it's very exciting like it, whether it's music it's acting or it's modeling or it's pageantry it's something that I love doing and I've always thought about being on tour and being able to reach everyone not only in my community but other communities around the world wow everybody you see why she's so amazing? I'm telling you, you got. To, if you don't know her today, please get to know Tatiana Gross. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, she is a phenomenal young lady. Listen, I wanted to ask you, um, do you ever get nervous, like, like on stage, like going before an audience? Because it's one thing to sing at a microphone in a studio, right? But do you ever get nervous? Yeah, I get nervous <laughs> a lot. Like, I have this thing where I get like butterflies in my stomach and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm about to freak out. And then I have my mom and my dad and my sister there telling me, you can't freak out. Like you've got this. You got to have the mindset that you can do it. And so when I do get those butterflies, I just take a deep breath and I look in the mirror and I say, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. And it always makes it 10 times better because I'm like, that's the stuff that you need. Some people don't realize that sometimes is that what you really need in your life is not only God, but you need self-confidence. And some people don't have self-confidence. And that's why in my age group, I always want to tell them like, you are amazing, no matter what you look like or who you are, what your passion is. If you feel as though you can do this, or you feel as though you feel great about yourself, feel great about yourself. Don't let people bring you down with them telling you, oh, you can't do this, or you look this certain way, or you can't wear this. Like you be yourself and embrace yourself by being yourself. Tell you, Tatiana, listen, not only are you going to be singing on tour, you're going to be a motivational speaker on tour as well. They're going to sell out arenas. I'm telling you, books are coming. Motivational podcasts or, or CDs or downloads because you have such an amazing strength about you, even at the age of four. Like, there are some things that people are destined for. Like, you like, even knowing at age four, like four, I don't even know what I was doing at four, but I still wasn't thinking I'm going to Hollywood. But it's awesome and amazing to hear you speak with such poise and confidence and certainty. And Thank I love you. that about you. So absolutely. You. So listen, when did pageantry come along? What what when what age did you become involved or how did that happen? This is funny. So when I used to do dance, um, my dance coach came to my mom and she was like you should put Tati in pageants I think she would do really well in it and my mom got in the car and she's like hey Tati do you want to do pageants and I was like yeah I want to do pageants because I've always seen pictures of these girls and they're wearing very shiny dresses and just looking beautiful and I'm like I want to look like them like you know I want to be able to be on stage with that crown and sash and be like I made it you know I did it so I told my mom I was like yeah and then my first year I got third runner up and then I went back and I got my first title, which was National American Miss Junior Preteen. So ever since then, I was doing pageants. It's like a confidence booster. It's like when you feel like, oh, like I can't do this or you can't be this or you have to look this certain way. You really don't. Like they look, some people think it's about the makeup and it's about the dresses and the glam, but they really mainly look for a good person, a good person that they know can be uplifting and motivational to their community. And that's one thing that I love about pageants is you can go and you can be yourself and still get that title. Like it's not all about the glam or the dresses. You are able to genuinely be yourself and be natural and not have anybody judge you. Wow. Oh my goodness. I see why you won. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you're, you. a, 
Oh my goodness. I mean, you're, you're, are you really 14? Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. Amazing. amazing. So, so let me ask you, what was that moment like to be crowned ultimate international Miss Maryland Junior Team? What was, what was that even like to, to hear your name called and to know that it was you? Well, I'm actually the first one to hold this title for the Maryland, the state of Maryland. So when I first heard it, I was like, oh my God, like, you know, like, oh my God, like, I'm the first one. And that's not many things people can say in pageantry because there have been organizations that have been going on for a while. And for me to be able to represent them as their Maryland junior team and be their first one, it was so awesome. Wow, the first one. I, I, listen, first of all, I'm not surprised, right? Because you're, you're, you're that awesome and more. Um, so I'm, I'm not surprised. And you're going to break, you're going to break records. Like, like the first to do this, the first to do that. Um, and, and I'm so proud of you. I'm Thank so you. truly proud of you. Not, not so, just of you as a person, which is just even just amazing. So listen, I got to ask you, I've seen on a lot of your posts on social media and even on the broadcast here, like you thank God in, in different ways and so forth. Tell me about the value of your faith and how it's played a part in you becoming who you are at this point in your life. I feel like faith is one of the things that really get me through the day. <laughs> you know, I can't do anything without him because without him, nothing would be possible. I feel as though I feel like all the gifts that I have and all the strength that I have and all the ability that I have comes from him. And I've grown up knowing him my whole entire life. So it's like, all of this is because of him and I can't do it without him. I can't have the strength that I have without him. And that's why I go to church every day. Shout out to Kingdom Home Ministry, by the way. That's why I go to church every day. And my church family, it's like, they teach you about him, but in a fun way. Like, it's, just, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for him. Wow, amazing. Well, listen, continue doing what you're doing because your voice is being heard. Your voice is being heard. The light inside of you is being seen. And even if people don't comment, they see you. I see you. And so many more people see that there's so much more destined for you. And I'm so excited to see what you shall even become even more so. So listen, I saw a post, you may not remember this, but if you do, I want to get your thoughts on it. But I saw you on a post that you had on Instagram that said, what would my older self have told my younger self? And you said, it is okay to be uniquely you. Sometimes in life, we feel as though we have to fit into a box, what others think we should be. But I am here to show the youth that it is okay to be themselves and love the skin there are, that they are in. And don't be afraid to display their uniqueness and talent. So dance through life as though no one is watching. Be you, be unique, be your ultimate you. Do you remember that post? Yes, sir, I do. And, and, and why did you feel it was necessary to write that for you and for everyone that was able to read? There are some days where I'm like, oh, I have to put on a fake act for people because like, that's the only way you feel as though you can fit in is if you're not yourself and you're somebody else. And I'm still learning that it's okay to be yourself. It, sometimes you don't have to fit in, you know what I mean? Fitting in is being yourself and you should be able to be like that and not have people judge you. So that's why I wrote that is to let other people know that it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be unique. And that you shouldn't have to worry about what other people think because at the end of the day, you're not gonna know them for very long. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's okay to be yourself. And I'm still learning how to how to be able to adapt to that. You know what I mean? Because when I was younger, y'all should have knew me when I was younger. I didn't care about anything. I was uniquely me. And of course, when you go through school and you go through middle school, it's like, oh, you have to tone yourself down for people like you or for people to wanna be your friend. And I'm learning now that a couple years, I'm not even going to be talking to these people. So why not be myself? Why not be uniquely me and be able to show people who I actually am? Wow. Wow. Listen, um, Tadja, I want to ask you what you just said in relation to pageantry, because I've talked to so many title holders, right? And mm -hmm. for a lot of years, 
some of them have felt they had to be someone else on stage, right? They had to present this perfect person who, you know, has no flaws, right? That That's just, you know, um, but tell me about your experience. Do you feel that you've been able to be like the uniquely you, like the real you on, on, on that platform? Yes, sir. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I am able to be myself is because my first year, I was uniquely myself and I got me third runner up. And my second year, I was myself. And I was like, this is a place where you can be yourself and not have anybody judge you in a rude way. And so that's why I continue to be myself when I do pageantries, because that's one of my outlets to be myself. So I've always been myself when I'm on stage. I feel as though, why be someone else when you can be uniquely you? Wow. I'm t- listen, Tatiana, I hope that you take that phrase and, and I don't know if it's copywriting it or uh, trademarking it, but I see t-shirts being uniquely, like, I'm, I, I'm telling you, I see so much uh, from that and it's powerful. And um, thank you for saying it. Thank you for letting others know that, that, you know what, it's okay to be you. Like, you don't have to perform for someone and, and be some, be who you are. You are more than enough, right? Yeah. You are more, and, and, as you were talking, I'm, I'm like, you know, it's okay to color outside the lines. <laughs> you know, I, I, I encourage people, you know, that don't, don't allow the lines to withhold the creativity and the positivity and the creativeness of who you are. Because yeah. listen, right, right? So, so those are the things that- Stopping you from creating a bigger picture. Why? stay inside of the lines when you can create a bigger and more beautiful picture. And that's what I'm starting to learn is that staying in a box is not going to get you anywhere. You got to get out of that box. You got to learn how to ride a bike, fall sometimes, scrape your knee. That's what life is. Yes. Yes. Listen, Tatiana, I'll, I'll tell you, um, draw a bigger picture. If you want to stay inside the lines and what you're seeing is not enough, it doesn't allow you to be the uniquely you, then draw a bigger picture, right? I love that. Love that, Tatiana. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, one day we may have to like co-host a podcast or or that be so live down. <laughs> wow, I love that. Listen, the the be uniquely show broadcast with Tatiana goes and Alexander. That'd be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to ask you because um where did your heart for service come? Because I, I'm looking at your, your, your post and just who you are. And you have this quote that's saying, artist who gives, right? And so where, where did your heart come from? Because you do so much for so many people. I've been told I've always had a big heart. Like if there was someone who was by themselves on the playground, I would go play with them on the playground. Like, if I see trash on the floor, I would pick it up, no matter how dirty it was. It was like, save the planet, you know what I mean? <laughs> and when I really grew up and I mature, I was like, wow, I just got to thank the people that have done so much for me. Like the Ronald McDonald house, when my little was my little brother was born, he was born with uh, illness and they had helped us that way. We wouldn't have to drive from home and to the hospital. So they gave us a place to stay while my brother was in the hospital. And now that I'm older enough, and I know I'm like I really need to give back to them and I want to thank them for what they've done for my family and I want to help them out with other families that are doing the same thing so that's why I have my platform Tati's Totes where I give them the supplies that they need especially during quarantine everything was out you know so yeah. being able to give them the supplies that they need to stay in stock and be able to help those families that went through the same thing that my family went through oh wow well listen we're not there yet amazing and I just want to applaud you because you know, it's, it's wonderful to, to see a need, but uh, secondly, to, to want to help address that need. And so it's wonderful. Your heart is amazing and your spirit yeah. is uplifting. And so, listen, before we go, we're going to definitely want to find out how people can donate and support your cause as well. So listen, when, when did acting and when did modeling come about? Because I'm like, when do you find time to do, to do all <laughs> yeah. of this? So, so tell me how acting came about and also modeling. Acting was one of the first things that I started doing. Even though I was singing for the longest, my me getting into the industry, acting was one of the things that I first started doing. Um, I went to IMTA, won a couple of awards there, and me and my family moved to 
LA, but my mom got into a car accident. So we had to move back. And since then I've been continuing to do acting. I started model modeling after I started pageantry, got myself a modeling coach and I've been able to embrace, embrace myself throughout modeling on the runway. So those are one of the two things that I love doing with music is because through the clothes, through modeling, you're able to express yourself. And through the script, you're able to express yourself. Nobody's telling you, oh, well, smile this hard or do this. They genuinely tell you, embrace how you're feeling in this moment. Feel how you feel as if you were the character, as if you were going through this. So no one's telling you, you have to do this thing or do this thing. They tell you to be yourself while trying to embrace the character. Oh, wow, wow. Listen, I have to... Um put you in touch if you don't know her already and your mom with this amazing uh family that that moved from philly out to la their son is now on a hit show on channel two and their daughter is a filmmaker a teen filmmaker um she's getting ready to do a commercial i think for uh target and she's done so many uh, listen so I, I can see so i want to make that connection just just so you and your mom and your dad can can have that because i'm telling you i i see so much in you and 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 this mom of of the young son and and the daughter like she's into like the the talent world out there so she helps young people who want to go and grow more in acting and teaches them and the parents the ropes and the businesses and the ins and the outs so she is phenomenal so i want to make sure i put you in touch with her um and that family so i gotta ask you um what is next on your vision board like like what is is there anything that we don't know that 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 you want to aspire to? Um, well, I do have nationals coming up for this title, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I have some modeling stuff coming up as well, I'm continuing to make more music that will be out eventually. So I'm rolling, we're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, Tatiana, listen, I, I want to just thank you so much for just being uniquely you. I, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing to see people on social media, connect comments, right, and likes and so forth. But, but there was something about you that I just, I, I, I just wanted to, to learn more about who you are. Um, I gotta ask you, how, how do you stay so positive and so focused? At, at, at the age of 14, you have school, you got teen issues, right? You got classes, you got homework, you got, now, now let me ask you, cause I didn't ask you, do you do sports? I play volleyball. Oh my goodness. And, and do volleyball. So, so, so how do you stay so focused um, and balanced? Because I'm trying to figure out like, when do you find time to do everything so well? My parents, they create that balance for me. They tell me, and all, I know this too, is that for you to get where you want to go, you have to work hard. But at the same time, you have to be able to still be a kid and still go out and experience kid things. So during school, which is Monday through Friday, I make sure I get my work done when I get home or I get it done during school. That way I have nothing to do when I get home. And if I have time during that, I do my music and I make sure I'm working on my music. And then on days where I feel as though, oh, I don't want to have a chill day or or I want to be able to hang out with my friends, I tell my parents, I'm like, hey, can I go do this this day? And then we schedule this for this day. Or can I have this day to myself? And then we schedule this for this day. Now, if it's a very important meeting, then of course, I got to go do that. But my parents and my family bring that balance. They bring that balance. They tell me, Tati, you work yourself too hard. Sometimes, sometimes you need a break. Or um, Tati, you got to make sure you get this done. Because sometimes I'm lazy and I'm like, oh, well, I can just do this tomorrow. And it's like, no, you got to get it done now. But they create that balance for me and let me know that you you can do what you love, but at the same time, you have to give yourself a chance to be a kid. Well, listen, I, I applaud your parents because that is so needed, right? That is such a valuable um, piece of information and part of your journey that it's key, right? Don't lose your childhood, right? Don't ha have fun. You know, everything doesn't, doesn't have to be so, so um, stressful or so emotional, draining, right? But it can just be fun, right? So I want to ask you, um, if you met someone that said, you know, I, 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 I have a hard time seeing my dreams come true, 
Um, I'm just, you know, don't, not there yet. Um, what would you say to them to encourage them to, to hold on to their dreams? Your dreams will never come true if you stop. The time that you stopped could have been the day that you've had your breakthrough. And you always want to take advantage of every opportunity. That's what my parents always tell me. doesn't matter what the opportunity is, big or small. Always take advantage of that opportunity because that opportunity could have been your break, that your big break. And so I would tell them, take advantage of every, every opportunity. You never stop doing what you love because you love. if it's truly your dream and you truly love it, you wouldn't feel the need to stop. Wow. Listen, everybody, her number one best-selling book is coming out soon. Um, <laughs> awesome. I love that. Oh, my goodness. So, so powerful and so real and so timely. Thank you so much, Tatiana, for just sharing. So I got to ask you, is there more that you want to share with us about you, about your journey? Again, before we go, I'm going to ask you about all of your social media contacts and how people can follow you. And But is there more about your journey that you want to share with us at this time? You're never too young to impact your community. I feel as though sometimes I have those days where I'm like, am I too young for this? Do people think I'm too young for this? And sometimes people see my age and go, oh, well, she, she's just her age. She's not mature enough or she's not old enough. I want to let them know that your age is not a defining factor on the success that you can accomplish. I mean, I have three singles out. I'm working, doing very well in school. I'm able to maintain that balance. And I'm only 14 and I have my own organization called Tati's Totes. And I'm only 14. Age is not a defining factor on the success that you can accomplish. And I want everyone to know that even if people don't see through your age, you need to be able to see through your age. Because if you don't see through your age, no one else will. Tatiana, listen, thank you so, so very much. Listen, everybody, I told her already before the broadcast, I want to get an autograph, I want to get a picture with her, we're going to do a photo shoot, right? All of those wonderful things. Um, and I want to add, listen, um, do you want to give any, any shout outs to anyone, any acknowledgements? We, we, we always give our guests time to do that. Yeah. Uh, but is there anyone or any organization, whatever, that you would like to, to give an, an acknowledgement to? First and foremost, I want to thank God. I want to thank my church home, my church family that is called Kingdom Hope Ministry. It's ran by um, Pastor Baker and Miss Tina Baker. I would like to thank my family because I wouldn't be anywhere without them. Their sacrifices we had to make for me to be here and for them to want to be able to give those sacrifices just for me. I'm very grateful and I don't know where I would be if I, it wasn't for them. And I want to thank you for inviting me on here. So thank you very much. Oh, listen, it's my honor. I, I, I'm so grateful that you said yes um, and that your parents said yes. So I'm grateful for just the, um, the privilege to talk with you because it's an honor and continue to um, just continue to grow and be that amazing you and know that I'm also in your corner. I'm cheering from you. I'm rooting for you. Um, I want to be connected with you to support you and all that I can do going forward because you are just that awesome um, all you. by yourself. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I'm honored to again have you as a guest on our broadcast. So where can people find you? Give us your social media handles. Um, how can people donate to Tati's Totes? Um, but just where people can connect with you. People can find me on my Instagram at Tatiana underscore music. I'll say it again, Tatiana underscore music. And they can find me on Facebook at Tatiana Gross. Wow. Well, listen, I thank you, Tatiana. Any more you want to share with us before I let you go? Just be yourself and dwell in your successes. Thank you. Everybody, you heard it right now here from Tatiana Gross. I'm telling you right now, stay connected with her, follow her journey, because I'm telling you, it is going to be even more amazing. Listen, I'm talking about number one hits. I'm talking about Grammy on the stage. Listen, Tatiana, I do, I, I do have one request. When you go to the Grammys or whatever award show, there's a red carpet, I would just like for you to request a media pass for me to come in to take your picture. I would okay. love to be your personal photographer. Of course. I will, I will follow and support you and just capture all your greatness. I know there's going to be other photographers there and that's okay, but I just want the one moment when you're going to walk across that red carpet to be able to capture you as well. And so 
Um, I hope I can make that happen. I hope that that can happen. So one day, one day. But thank you so much, Tatiana. I so appreciate you. You're so amazing and awesome. Continue to be the uniquely. Everybody, Tatiana Gross, thank you so much. Again, inspiration with Troy Alexander Live. We're here every week to encourage you to go get your dream. And our motto is dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Thank you so much, Tatiana. You're amazing and awesome. Have a great night. And I look forward to seeing that star rise even more. Thank you so much, Tatiana. Have a good night. Bye.